Mac, maths, mac, maths. Let's do some maths today. Statistics. Okay, so now we're on to chapter five. Um, and today, for lesson 5a, uh, I'm going to do that. I'll cover section 5a or 5.1 in the book. So I'll do four or five uh, lessons on probability just to cover the four or five exercises that you've got. There's actually four exercises and then a mixed exercise. So uh, there's four lessons worth. It's a big overlap. Um, to GCSE, um, so all of the usual things are in there, tree diagrams, Venn diagrams, which you've done at GCSE, um, but I'll go over those again uh, sort of quickly. Um, chapter, sorry, section one, exercise um, five, 5.1 and exercise 5.8, this one, this one is, is just a reminder of basic probability, that is everything goes, adds up to one, um, but of course this there's a, a more of a problem solving element to do with probability um, at AS level and uh, this thing that seems to be cro interpolation seems to be cropping up doesn't it in in every in every chapter um, so I'm just going to go really through support with exercise 5a for you because it is basic um, but I'm only going to deal, there's only four, five questions actually, um, but I'm only going to look at the problem ones that have got a P next to them, that's three, four and five. Uh, so I'll just go through parts of questions three, four and five. And I'm only going to go through the interpolation bits of those, okay, because the other, the other stuff is straightforward, it's just creating a fraction, okay. So without further ado, here we go. Um, as you can see, I've drawn the question three. Uh, I've got a, the table from question three here in exercise 5a and it's about these bull mastiffs, these dogs, okay, and it's the weight of these dogs and it tells you in the question that there are 140 uh, dogs that have been weighed and it's recorded in a table and it, it says find the probability that a dog, so section A for instance, I'm not going to do all of these, so section A or question A, part A says find the probability that a dog has a mass of 54 kilograms or more okay so that's this here so this is more than 54 so you can see you're simply just doing 33 21 and 2 adding them all because those are all the dogs more than 54 so 33 54 56 so there's 56 dogs so it's simply the probability of choosing one of those at random is 56 over 140 and whatever that cancels down to so that's that's all it is OK, so let's have a look at the interpolation bits. OK, and that kicks in for this one for part C, so the last part. OK, so the last part says, um, the actual full question says, is it more or less likely than a bull mastiff, the dog chosen at random, has a mass under 53 kilograms? And it says state one assumption you've made. We'll talk about that in a second. It says it on this one. OK, so under 53 kilograms are the more so 53 uh it's sort of trying to find the middle point isn't it the me uh the median okay and say you know and uh and say which side of the median is it okay so let's have a look so we're taking this group here from 51 to 54 okay and it's saying so this is the weights 51 to 54 it's nice because it's in the continuous data sort of form so we can use those as the limits we don't go half above or below um and it says 53 kilograms so it's there okay so this here is a gap of 51 52 53 54 is a gap of three from there to there and 53 so a gap of three and this is 52 53 so this is two thirds along isn't it okay and they've made the numbers really easy for you here so none of the tricky interpolation that we've done before because they've given you the numbers nice within that group there are 42 dogs okay you can see there there are 42 dogs um that's handy okay so this bit at the end where it says what assumption have you made, well the assumption that we're making is that those 42 dogs within that particular group are evenly spaced, aren't they? their weights are um, evenly spaced within the group. Okay, So two thirds of the way through that group, uh, up to 53, means two thirds of 42 and two thirds 
of 42 dogs within that group and they've given you a number that divides nicely by three which is 14 so two lots of 14 is 28 dogs so there's 28 dogs in that group that uh, are in the first two thirds of the group that takes you from 51 to 53 kilograms so altogether less than 53 kilograms a mass of under 53 kilograms we've got 17 dogs we've got 25 dogs and then we've got 28 of the 42 within that group using interpolation and if we add all of those numbers up get my calculator okay because i can't add up in my head as you uh, menu one so i've had it on statistics from the last lesson so 17 add 25 add 28 is equal to 70 um, so it is 70 of the dogs so it's is it more or less likely to have a mass under 53 okay well it's dead evens isn't it okay it's neither because it's the middle number it's 70 um, dogs are under 53 so 70 dogs are over 53 okay so that's that one it's got you right in the middle um moving on to question four koalas it tells you in the table there's 240 koalas um some of them are male and some of them are female i haven't added these up to see whether there's um 120 of each probably is okay um and again it asks you questions but it, it lines up nicely with the group um limits but it says here this is the interpolation bit when you get to part d it says under 72 centimeters is, is a is a juvenile is a young koala so if it's under 72 they class it as a juvenile find the probability of getting a juvenile okay so again you look at the group and you've got 70 to 70 five so it's a gap of five isn't it and 72 uh, 72 that is two fifths into that group okay so it's two fifths into that group so for the male it's two fifths of the how many in the group for the male 20 so it's two fifths of 20 so it's nice they've given you a number that divides nicely by five that's handy so that's eight males in that group plus four and for females it's two fifths of now in their group from 70 to 75 there's 15 so it's two fifths of 15 and so that is six isn't it so divide by five is three to three two is a six okay so altogether the male there are four males there and another eight males there so males um, is 12 males that are under 72 and females there are six out of that group and 14 so there are 20 okay so altogether there are 32 and what's the question saying uh, let me just check Find the probability of choosing a estimate the probability it is not you know estimate because these are estimations aren't they that a, that a koala chosen at random is ju juvenile so thir we've said there's 32 that are under 72 centimeters so it's 32 out of the 240 um koalas and whatever that cancels down to so 32 out of 240 so the answer in the back will be 2 fifteenths the probability of a juvenile is 2 fifteenths okay and again it says state the assumption it did on that one actually but I didn't write it in and the assumption of course um, is um, that they're evenly spaced within the in the group okay um, so that's those two all the important bits of those two and then the last one um, question five is a histogram so question five didn't put five on there is a histogram 
and it's two parts to it and the first part is um, is straightforward because it lines up with the, the groups um, but the second part B is the interpolation bit and it says estimate the probability that uh, a cat is less than 6.5 kilograms and that and you can see there from the table um, between six and seven okay so it's a an interpolation isn't it again okay so this one and what I did was because I did it freehand I just wrote I read off from in the book where the height of the bar was and remember the height of the bar is not the frequency for a histogram it's the frequency density it's the area of the bar so this bar has a height of six and a gap of one three to four so it's one times six is six so that has an area of six so it is six cats okay this one has 0.5 a, um, a width of 0.5 but a height of 26 so it represents 13 cats and so on all right so that's what it is and that's how we do it and if we're doing this second part estimate the probability that a cat, cat is less than 6.5 so if I go to 6.5 there, that means that this bar here is four high. Okay, so it's got a height of four and it's got a width of from six point. I'm going to do this bit here. So uh, it's one and a half, isn't it? It's 1.5. Okay, so six times 1.5, sorry. 4 times 1.5 is 6. So this represents 6 cats. Okay. So the, the probability that a cat is less than 6.5 6 kilograms, well, we've got 70 cats all together. So that means that all of those cats to there is 70 take away those 6. Okay. Which is 64. So we've got 64 cats out of the 70 um, that are less than 6.5 kilograms. And of course, I can see that that one, don't need the calculator for that one, cancels down to 32 for 35. Okay. Uh, and that's questions three, four, and five. All right, or just the important bits, the interpolation bits. The other stuff is, is dead easy because it matches up. OK, short lesson, um, but make sure you've had a go at those before you um, before you watch all of those. I'll tell you that at the end. OK, all right. Bye bye.